Hey guys, it's me, Marty, and it is June, which means it is Pride Month, so it's time for our annual Pride makeup tutorial. So this tutorial today is going to be this kind of cut crease using some of the rainbow colors. I used as many colors as I could. I did not use every single color of the rainbow. I used as many as I could to create this look tonight. It is going to be focused just on the eyes and the lips in an effort to save time because I know sometimes my videos are long, especially my tutorials. So today we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Narvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. If you don't have this, you could get any Brights palette, should be able to do it. The staying power may not be as, it might not have as much of a punch as this one does. It was $65, so if you guys decide to, um, you, you don't have to go out and get this. Just get something similar, it's the same. Also, I know I'm committing a cardinal YouTuber sin by wearing the same shirt. Again, I wore it um, when I was doing the intro and outro to my, and my mom. My mom does my makeup video, I'll put a card for that up here. Um, but I could not find a shirt that symbolized Pride Month more than this one. The happiness with the rainbows, I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. The happiness with the rainbows, the rainbow stars on the arm, and I just really wanted to show my support to Pride. And if you guys are going to any Pride parades or any Pride parties or anything like that, figured this will be a fun glamorous kind of over the top look that you guys could do as well so before we actually go ahead and jump into this tutorial i do want to remind you guys that i am going to be doing a giveaway at 200 subscribers for this lovely Too faced sweet peach palette that you can't see because of my ring light there we go this lovely Too faced peach palette i am going to be giving it away at 200 subscribers so if you like what you see here please consider subscribing please go ahead and like this video as well and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this beautiful 2021 pride makeup tutorial First of all, I'm going to clip my hair back because, you know, I don't want to, uh, it's easier that way. I know my brows look a wee bit wonky. I know that. I don't know why I just took that to Scotland Yard, but whatever. Um, so it's just because they're blocked off and I haven't done any of the rest of my makeup yet. So that's why that's happening. Let me pull um, I mean, into this makeup. So today, if you couldn't tell by this huge palette I'm using today, we are going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Narvina Volume 1 palette because it has enough brights that I think we can pull off the look that we're trying to get today with it. So I will be honest with you guys and say that I did not practice this look yet i just right, so first we're going to start building our crease with purple so we're going to use a3 that's why i kept the plastic on it because i'm going to stick my fingers all up in it so we're going to use a3 which is this like kind of hot warmer kind of purple color we're going to use that in our crease first to start building our crease so actually instead of a crease brush today i'm going to use an eyeshadow brush i think this one is from japanese beauty yeah it's from japanese beauty so i'm going to use this kind of fluffier brush because i want this purple to really really pop in the crease so that's the reason I'm, I'm using a uh, bigger brush instead of my normal NYX crease brush. I'm going to blow it out a little bit later, but just to start building that color, we're going to go in with this bigger, fluffier brush. I'm trying to be careful because I want a white shirt and I have on white pants. Every time I go to do brights, I do that. I don't know what's wrong with me. So again, we're going to go with A3. Pretty right. This palette is... This palette has become my favorite palette that I own right now. Is that going to stay? I don't know. Who knows? So let's... Oh, I didn't pick up as much. Oh, no, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's what I was looking at. That's what I was looking for. So I'm just taking that into my crease, like where you would put, almost more where I would usually put like a crease color. I mean, not a crease, a transition color. Because I want to get a good bit on there because I notice sometimes, I don't think this palette does that. But sometimes when I'm working, I'll notice it starts to kind of fade a little bit. And this is our pride tutorial. So the last thing we want to do is fade. We want to be loud, we want to be bright, we want to be proud, we want to be ce celebratory. We don't want to be quiet. That's kind of, I mean, for me at least... And I'm not part of that community, but I've always supported that community. And so that's why I like this. This tutorial and my Mardi Gras tutorial are the two ones I look forward to the most every single year because of what they stand for and just to lend my support to. If you don't know what I mean by them, obviously I mean the um, LGBTQIA plus community. Because we've come a long way, but we ain't came far enough. Not nearly far enough. Anyway, that's a tell for another time. So I want to get another brush because I can't really get inside the corner like I want to with this. This color is beautiful absolutely beautiful it's it's doing exactly what it needs to do it's giving what it needs to give it's what's another cool kids phrase right now it's understanding the assignment it's doing exactly what I was looking for it doing now I do want to pull it a little bit more in here because last year that was my complaint when I looked at it I did not like that it didn't uh I didn't find it went in far enough on the 
inside of the eye. So now I'm going to use this, my, y'all know she was gonna make it appearance, my NYX crease brush to pull it in a little bit more. And this Narvina palette, in case you guys don't remember from my original review of it, I'll put a card for it up here, is a, a pressed pigment palette, which means it's going to be way more hardcore than a regular eyeshadow, and it may stay, like this purple's probably gonna stay in my eye a little bit, which is, for me, I don't personally care, but I know some people do. So yeah, just wanted to mention that. So I'm gonna go in with D5, which is this like, deep matte black. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of that in the middle just so I could make that crease pop just a little tiny bit more. Because when we cut it, I want to make sure that you can definitely, that it's giving you, um, that it's giving you some dimension in it. So I'm just darkening um, and I'll put that right in the middle, kind of where we would usually put a crease color. And then I'm just wiggling it back and forth so that I can blend that black into that purple a little bit. I don't want the black to be a color. Like I don't want you to see the black. I just wanted to deepen that magenta color a little bit. So, and I'm just dragging that crease brush back and forth, just trying to spread out that black a little bit. I used the NYX Proof It um, eyeshadow primer today. And I will tell you guys, if you don't, if you want to buy a primer and you don't, uh, eyeshadow primer, you don't already have one, that NYX primer is such a good primer for such a low cost. It's like maybe 10 bucks. Um, I have a lot right now, so I'm not going to be replacing it. And I don't use it in every video because I have so many I'm trying to get through. But um, if you're just starting in makeup or you feel like you need an eyeshadow primer, and you don't have one it's a good primer is the point i'm trying to make i'm about to back this this thing up because i keep hitting it with the palette because the palette is so freaking big i'm gonna go and grab a concealer so we can start carving out the lid real quick actually guys before i do that i want to just do a quick blend all over with this crease color again i was gonna diffuse it at the top but i i like the way it's looking so i'm not gonna change it i'm just gonna leave it like this and i'm just gonna highlight my brow bone real quick before i go in and uh get the concealer so i can cut the crease i like how this and now i'm gonna take this brush from i I think it's Luxie, yeah, from Luxie. And I just wanna take a little bit of that bright white color right here. I think it's C, what is it, C1. I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of that and I'm just gonna put it on my brow just to give a little bit of a brow highlight. Yeah. I definitely don't want too much because I really want my lids to pop and speak for themselves. Oh, dokie. I think we're looking good so far. So this is where we're at so far. It is heavy. It's heavier than I, I'm used to, but again, it's probably the whole point is to be like, I want to be loud and I want to be bright and I want to really, really show the rainbow colors and I really, really want to do it kind of big. So I'll be right back. Let me go grab a... Uh, this is actually all we're gonna do for the top. Now we're gonna work on the lid. So that's all we're doing. Just a little different for me. Usually I do more than that, but that's what we're gonna do today. So so I'm going to use the same um, concealer that I used to carve out my lid, which is the Born This Way from Too Faced Naturally Radiant Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And that's pretty much what I use it for. I mostly use this for carving out brows, for carving out my lid because it's such a light concealer that I really don't know the point in <laughs> anywhere else because like it's so it's such a lightweight concealer so what I want to do today and I might I don't know if this is right or wrong but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot I took this NYX um lip pencil that I ordered I think I might have actually ordered it on accident and I want to try that because I've had it for a while and I never use it because I never need a brush to apply lipstick I can always you know make it work so I'm gonna try that one but I did bring my Morphe uh concealer brush just in case um, I don't know exactly the best way to do this sitting here. I may have to just do it in the viewfinder with you guys. So it's going to look a little weird, but I'll be explaining everything. So just sit tight. So what I want to do, first of all, is I never just take this thing and start applying it to my lid. I first take a little bit on the brush, like so. Also, that helps not waste product. Y'all know how I am about waste. I hate wasted product. So I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of that here. This brush is really soaking that stuff up. So maybe that wasn't a good idea to use this one, but I brought my other. And I'm going to pull my eye a tiny little bit. Now, when I did my Mardi Gras tutorial, I really liked how the crease came out because I really took my time with it. And that is the most advice I could give anybody is take your time. I tend to rush. So all I did was apply some to the lid and then I'm going to look up so that it can kind of make its own cut crease. So see that it did it on its own because as you Get older you lose collagen your eyelid starts to droop a little tiny bit so it'll do it by itself which that's where your natural oh, i drove this pilot out i had 10 freaking heart attacks it's my favorite she's the goat i'm sorry if y'all can't see i'm sitting really weird i have the palette on my lap so i put the bulk of the concealer if you can't tell at the top i mean at the top closer to my nose oh that came out good what girl you might kind of sort of know what you're doing sometimes yeah, and also, um, I don't know if I said this before, but thank you guys for all the love on that Mardi Gras tutorial because it's the first tutorial I've ever gotten 
more than a thousand views on and you guys know how special every year the Mardi Gras tutorial is to me far more special than any other one because it so represents my home and where I'm from and everything and what we stand for and all of that so it really means the world to me so I took my crease up a little bit higher where it stopped but that's just so that when your eyes are open you can see the rainbow and again my biggest advice about cutting a crease is just take your time that's what I learned the very hard way so that's what we're looking like on one eye I'm gonna go and do the other one off camera just to save a little bit of time because I know my tutorials get pretty long yeah that's better so now we got our lid carved out so that we can really paint the actual lid part and what I did just to explain to you guys because I was talking about something else so I probably forgot to say it but I put most of the concealer on the inner corner so that we get a really pretty fade in so that this part will be darker because if I put that lighter base underneath a darker color because on the outside we're going to do blue so like uh, if I put that um, lighter base under a darker color it can mess with the shade of that blue and make it like a baby blue and we don't want that we want it to be dark and then on the lot on the inside we're going to do a yellow so we want the, the yellow to be lighter underneath so that the yellow pops more so that's the reason behind that just just in case there was any confusion of y'all like I don't know what she's doing what she's talking about that's the that's the gist of it so let me go and carve out my other lid and i'll be right back um something else i find helps to get a clean cut crease is to not pick up the brush like just go straight and that's kind of the same i, I guess that's something i learned drawing when I when i was in school if you like need to make a straight line the easiest thing to do is to not take the pencil off the paper and i find it's the same thing with making a straight line here i don't know why but if you just do a straight whoosh it'll be a lot easier for you okay so we are good on carving out our lids. This lip pencil worked really, really good for that with a cream product. And I figured it would because it's meant to work with lipstick. I'm gonna take my favorite Bogache eyeshadow brush and I'm trying to decide exactly what I wanna do. There are so many beautiful colors in this thing that it's got kind of the limit on this. So for the inside, closer to my nose, we're gonna do C2, which is right here. For the middle, I think I wanna do E4, which is this beautiful, like shimmery blue color. And then we're going to do um, this orange in the middle. So da, da, da. We got a couple of things going on here. Actually, I'm switching from this one to E2. I think that's going to be beautiful. E2 is brighter. I don't know how it's reading on camera, but E2 is a lot brighter. And uh, that means I'm going to need to switch brushes because I need a better brush that's more suited to matte eyeshadows instead of this one, which is more suited to glitter eyeshadow. So let me get another one. And the thing is... I know like some of y'all are watching this and being like, I cannot take the time to have that many brushes and learn that many brushes. But the more you grow your collection and the more you do your makeup, like I already know pretty much what brushes I'm going to be using most of the time. Like I know this one is going to be for mattes. I know that Bogache one is going to be for uh, glitter. So you just, you kind of get to know it a little more the more you do it. The thing with makeup is it's just like anything else. Practice makes perfect. If you're not going to do it, it's not going to get done. I know that sounds like it should be an easy fix, but I swear to God, y'all, some people. Anyway, so we're going to go with E2, which is this beautiful orange, this beautiful matte orange. We're going to go with that one first. Oh my God, so pigmented. Okay, cool. And we're going to stick that right in the middle of the lid here. She's more pigmented than I remember her being. I don't know that I ever used this. It looks like Cheetos. Like it's so pigmented pretty though very pretty and then with that concealer it's like a stickier base so it's gonna hold a lot of color I know that's right okay so we got let me build it a little bit more I want it to be orange I want you to say she wearing an orange eyeshadow I want you to be like damn she got some orange eyeshadow that's what we're going for so I'm still just packing on that orange because I want it to be heavy impact you don't want to I don't want to put orange in that crease because it's going to diffuse that color and I really want it to jump a little bit like that I want it to be purple and then orange like a clear line and I'm just to make sure I'm not um, diffusing the color at all if you notice I'm not really dragging my brush I'm just kind of packing it on and I guess I'll be washing brushes tonight because all these brushes are going to be so colorful and I have a dinner to go to tomorrow and yeah this is they're, they're gonna stain everything all right, so orange is done. I'm so sorry I keep hitting this camera, you guys. I swear, I'm sorry. Orange is done. I keep biting my lip because my lip is so dry from... Y'all, I have such a story time for you guys. Anyway, we'll do that another day. So C2, this bright gold, beautiful gold color. I'm going to put that on the brush real good. If I need to spray it, I'll spray it. I don't think I'm going to need to spray it, though, because this face is so tacky. And then we're going to just stamp the gold on there, too. And the reason I use two different brushes is I find with denser brush for glitter that denser brushes pick up more of the pigment. And again, if you guys notice how cautious I'm being, I'm being really, really careful with that because I don't want it to bleed into something else. So it's a lot easier to uh, on. It's a lot easier to get everything. If you have as many brushes as I do and I have a lot of brushes, you can um, switch brushes for the darker color. But if you if this is your only brush that you're using, 
um, just try to go in order of darkest to lightest. Like I'm about to do the blue on the outer corner. So I made sure I did the yellow first so that I didn't have to go run, wash the brush. But you can also just keep makeup wipes on your station when you're working. And then you can just go back and forth. You know what I mean? Like you can take the makeup wipe and wash some off so that it's not so much um, in there. So now we're going to go with D4, which is this beautiful bright blue, which I've never used. And I'm really interested to see what it looks like. Whoa. I mean, under what circumstances is this allowed? I forgot what I was saying. This blue is so pretty, it upsets me. It it, it, it messed my night up. I don't, I don't know how to function right now because this blue is so gorgeous. Right now what I'm going to do or what I want to do is take a contour brush and just pull some of that really pretty blue into that purple just so we can sharpen it a little bit. I'm actually using the same brush for a minute just to end because y'all know like my biggest fear right now, I do not want to lose the individuality of each color because they are so gorgeous together. And again, we're not blending it because we're not trying to do a, uh, we're not trying to do a soft blended look. We're trying to do a bold, crazy look. So I'm going to really quickly though, just for this one part. And that's the reason I'm using a little tiny brush because I don't want to pull too much. I want to just kind of blend a little bit of this edge here. Not a whole lot of blending, just, I mean, the slightest bit because I feel like it's almost kind of distracting from the rest of it. Yo, I'm getting, I'm getting pretty good at doing makeup. I mean, I know, like, girl, I know y'all are like, you have a YouTube channel, you didn't think you were good at makeup? No, I thought I was good at makeup, but I didn't know, I, I'm good at pretty makeup. I'm not good at, like, show makeup, you know what I mean? Like, so bold colors, I'm not usually that good at. But this, in my Mardi Gras tutorial, okay, I'm gonna go um, do some more of my look, and I'll be back with you guys to do an under eye look in just a second. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, why is this camera so low? Hold on a second. I don't like it like this. Now I want to do my um, liner. Usually I do my liner off camera, but because this is an eye look, I want to take you guys through step by step of the eye look. I actually regret not showing you guys the primer because that's usually part of it, but all I did was the NYX uh, Proof of Primer. And everything else I'm wearing on my face today is going to be linked below. Everything I use on camera and off camera. I'm going to have an on camera list and then I'll have an off camera list. I haven't used this thing in a really long time. This is the Iconoclast from Butter London Infinite Lacquer Liner. And I, I don't use it a lot because it feels like it's never completely dry and it gets all over everything. But now that I'm a little better with my eyelining skills, I think I might be able to do it this time. So we're going to try that today because it doesn't, the thing with this is it stays shiny. It's so weird. I don't know how or why, but it stays really shiny. So since I want to do a more glittery, poppy kind of look, I'm going to go ahead and use this one because it doesn't dry down. I want to do a good size wing, which is not really new for me. I always do wings, but I just want to show you guys because some people have problems doing that. It's just got the little, like, the little well, and then you just unscrew the top. It's got a good handle too, but I just never use it. So I'm going to flick it out right at the end with an extraordinarily light hand, if you can't tell. And I'm going to just trace it back. And just like everything else I did today, this takes practice. So don't think you're just going to swish it like I just did. I've been doing wing liner since probably high school. And I still get it wrong sometimes. So don't ever, I don't want anyone at home doing this being like, oh my God, I can't get the line straight. It takes a lot of practice. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Don't you guys think that's good? I think it looks good. Let me, I want to pull it up a little tiny bit more. Now this, just like some of the other ones I've used... I'm scared that if it gets on the top of my lid, it could like mess up my crease by putting black on it. So I'm going to try to leave my eye down a little bit while it sets and dries down a little tiny bit because I just don't want to mess up my crease with black because that would not be. This look is so um, precise that I really don't want to mess it up. I think this looks good. Don't you guys think the liner looks good? So let's let it sit for like a minute. While I'm letting it sit, I'm actually going to do, I should do my, I'm going to do my lashes. So the reason I structure my um, like order of putting things on a certain weight way is so that things can dry. So while I'm doing my under eye look with you guys, my liner and my mascara should be drying so that I avoid the thought of um, getting it on the rest of my lid and messing up my look. So far, so good though. I'm surprised, but so far, so good. And then um, today I'm going to be using the, oh, Ayeko, Ayeko London, um, beach waterproof mascara mascara today doesn't really matter because of course we're going to be doing lashes but i just want to get something to do a good coat and this part is for my mother so mom if you are watching this you pay attention now because i'm tired of telling you about mascara and about your eyelashes pay attention because i'm gonna do this for you now so pay attention so i'm taking the brush the little uh wand out of the mascara and i'm just gonna roll at the bottom of my lash line 
and I'm just gonna wiggle it up and that way you get the most product on it and you get the most product where you're gonna put the curler later so you want to make sure you're doing that and I personally do wet lashes I don't curl them while they're wet I let them dry but I know some people have problems with that. Like they'll pull their they'll lash their lashes will like come out if they do that. The most important thing, I'm not suggesting you do it either way. You have to do what's comfortable for you. I've always done it this way since I was in like high school. And the thing is, if you let it dry, it's not gonna get stuck because it's dry. It's like pushing a eyelash curl like against my wrist or something, right? It's it's dry. So if you don't, if you just just have patience. You don't want to rush to do this look anyway because it's so precise. But you don't want to rush through that because that will mess up your eyelashes so again i'm rolling at the base wiggling up a couple coats just to fan it out a little bit and again i'm just using this mascara because i just haven't used it in a while it was an ipsy bag find and i never ever use it also i don't think i mentioned this earlier but i did do the rest of my makeup so like not all of it but like all the cream products so i did my concealer color correct concealer foundation all that good stuff again that's gonna all be linked down below but um just so y'all know my skin did not just magically turn into this i did touch up the rest of it while i was um on the other side of the glam room doing the rest of my makeup so now while we're waiting for our liner and our lashes to dry i'm going to do my under eye look with you guys now too since my concealer and everything is already done underneath so we'll do that now sorry i have to get my makeup brush cup because i can't find here it is Okay, so I'm taking this slanty, slanty, shanty, slanted eyeliner brush, and it's exactly what it says it is. It's just a nice, tight, tightly packed um, eyeliner brush. It is, the bristles are getting kind of messed up on the side, but I've had these brushes for so long that I'm not really surprised. So since we did, whoop, yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do B5 in the corner, and then I wanna do D4 the rest of the way, because it's just so pretty. That blue is just such a rich, beautiful blue. So B5 is that kind of darkish purple. I mean darkish, dark purple. And I'm going to start stamping. And this time I wanna stamp at the wing, because I wanna make a pretty outline for my eye instead of, you know, yeah, there we go. So then I'm gonna take D4, which is that beautiful blue color. I'm gonna take her and stamp her all the way in yeah okay what do y'all think i like it so far i want to drag it a little bit more and then i'm going to use my highlighter brush we're going to go with a1 this like shimmery purpley shade right here and i want to do my tear duct with that color today yeah so do this a little bit of this Okay, so after this, we are now done with the eyeshadow palette. So I'm not gonna add a liner underneath. I like this. I like the blue, kind of speaking for itself a little bit. So now we're going to uh, gonna take this still comb that I got from Ross. I think it's from, <gasps> swear to God, y'all. This uh, lash comb that I got from Ross, it's from Paris Hilton, um, who I guess makes makeup at some point, I don't know. And I'm going to just use that to kind of pull through because I can already see it's getting kind of clumpy. And even though I have on, I'm going to be putting on falsies. I want to make sure that I'm not clumped up because that's not a good look. Now, this is where my mom and I, that's where she needs help. So I just did my mascara. I let it dry. Comb through it with the still comb. Now I'm going to curl really quickly. Then I'm going to leave, go off camera to finish off my look. And um, um, but uh, so then I'm going to leave and do my um, lashes off camera only because I literally logistically cannot think of a way where I could do it facing the camera without a mirror. So if you guys want a tutorial on lashes and how to apply them and stuff, how I apply them, I can do that another day, but I, I just, I, I don't see logistically possible way to do that right now. So if you didn't see what I did, I'll repeat the other side too for this. Cause I know some people have a lot of issues with lash curlers. I hold my lashes for like 10 seconds or until I get a call probably from my mother. Hey, hey, hey. What's that? Um, so when you know what? Actually, you can do them because I'm shooting a video and I want you to see my eyeshadow. It came out so pretty. What do you think? Hey, it's beautiful. Thank you. I don't know about those colors, but it's beautiful. Pride. It's, it's my pride tutorial. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so again, I want to do this for those that didn't see it the first time because I kind of was talking and flew through it. So I'm going to comb through the lashes, through the mascara. Call me, call me, call me, fairy princess. I'm going to put my spiky brush, I mean, um, comb down. Then I'm going to do my lashes like this. So what you're going to do is put it, make sure your lashes are in between it, like sandwiched between the top and the bottom. You want to push back a little bit. 
because your eye is liquid so um, i mean your eye has liquid in it so it's soft it's going to be mal malleable so you can push up and then you're going to just squeeze the clamp just be careful if you start to feel any pinch before you start closing it then you want to slide it down a little bit because that means you got your lash line and you don't want to do that that hurts so at this point if i wasn't doing falsies what i would do is i would do another couple coats of mascara but since i am doing falsies i don't really have to do that I am going to, however, before I go do, I, I forgot about this, actually, hold on. So before I go and do the rest of it, usually I use two different mascaras, one for the top, one for the bottom. But again, since this is Pride and I'm not concerned with looking natural today, um, I'm going to just use the same mascara on the bottom lashes. Just because this look is so bold, I feel like if we do, um, if we don't do lashes, or if we don't do bottom mascara, it's going to disappear, you know, because the look is so bold. You're not going to see my bottom lashes if I don't do that. So I cannot believe the nothing transferred. That's crazy. So just a quick little touch. All right, I'm going to go do some more of my look. I'll be back to do with you guys um, highlighter, bronzer, and uh, lips. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So in an effort to save time, I went ahead and did the majority of my look off camp. Ooh, too light. Hold on. Wash myself out. Okay. Yeah, I went ahead and did the majority, the rest of my look, bronzer, all, all, everything. I did everything off camera just in an effort to save time because this is a full eye tutorial. And I know it's going to take a long time, but now I'm back to do lips. So today I have a very inexpensive lip combo for you guys. And I didn't pick it because they were exp uh, um, inexpensive. I just picked them because they were good. And I know that's going to look good with the purple we did on the lid. So we're using the Essence Lip Liner in Red Blush, which is like a hot, like a, it says red blush, but it's really more of a pink. And these cost like a dollar. And then I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Prague, which y'all, NYX Matte Lip Cream in Prague used to be my everything. I would wear this thing all the time. So I'm completely done with everything else except the lips. So let's go ahead and do that. I will tell you guys something about the NYX Matte Lip Cream though. It doesn't last long. Like when I bought my first like higher end, I think they call it Prestige brand matte liquid lip i was like oh, okay i see the difference i see why this one is six bucks but their lip lingerie is good it lasts a long time but it dries your lips out so and my lips are pretty dry right now because i had a stomach infection so okay so i'm just outlining my lips i don't normally overdraw and i don't usually fill in with liner either you're welcome to do that if you feel the need to, but I think this is going to be enough. So, good with the liner. Let's get to the lippy. Again, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Prague. I have, like, y'all, when I first got back into makeup, when I was in college, I kind of fell off a little bit just because I didn't have time. When I got back into makeup, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, I bought them in, like, every color. I had Transylvania, London, Prague, Amsterdam, um, San Paolo. There's more that I, I can't remember, but I, I had a whole drawer full. Like, I love this. I used to love this stuff. I still do, but they just don't last really long enough for me, so. Um, so every year, guys, I do this pride tutorial as part of kind of just lending my support to the LGBTQIA plus community. So I wanted to do something fun, bright, loud, exciting, glamorous, all of that stuff for this year. Last year, I did a rainbow one using the um, using the KVD Vegan Beauty uh, Vegan Love Palette. I'm going to put a card for that up there if you want to check out last year's one. But this year is a little bit different, but still, I think it's a lot cleaner. I like it a lot more. I think it's pretty beautiful. So I am going to have a list of every product that I used on my face today as well as some LGBTQIA plus community resources in case you need help with anything. I'm going to list a couple of them down there under the links along with products I used on and off camera today. So, okay guys, so this is the finished look for the 2021 Pride makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really liked it. It was fun. I really like how it came out. I think it came out exactly the way I pictured it in my, in my mind. So if you try this look, please tag me on Instagram. And speaking of Instagram, if you'd like to see my glam in real time, also the deals of the day is up there. You can follow my Instagram page right here. And if you want like just my random crazy thoughts like uh, about music, politics, really whatever's on my mind. So if you want to see that, you can follow my Twitter page, which is right here. Anything else you can leave in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on any other social media, which is always the last slide. I guess that's it. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like the video if you like it. Please subscribe because I'm still doing my giveaway at 200 subscribers. It is a Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So if you guys are interested in that, please, please, please subscribe so that I can go ahead and do this giveaway. That extra palette is just sitting in my house and I don't 
it's just kind of chilling. So thank you guys again so much uh, for joining me today. Um, be you, be true. And next time you get glam, you should come on over here and get glam with Marty. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Love y'all. Bye.